The well of inspiration for political TV shows runs maddeningly deep, resulting in some of the incredible TV series. Here's another great list of TV shows based on politicians and their politics. Number 10 Baron Noir, with 7.8 on IMDb. Based on French politics, Baron Noir is like a perfect blend of House of Cards and The Sopranos, a French politician thirsts for revenge against his political enemies. His political career is in shambles after he is sacrificed by the presidential candidate from the left. Baron Noir is cracking fun, a proper grown-up drama. Number 9 Brain Dead, with 8 on IMDb and 65% on Rotten Tomatoes. Brain Dead is an American political satire. It is a hilarious science fiction comedy series. A government employee learns that the cause for the disputes between two political parties is the insects which are eating their brains. Brain Dead is aggressively funny and a little sloppy. Number 8 Show Me a Hero, with 8 on IMDb. Show Me a Hero follows Nick Wasiksko who takes office as mayor of Yonkers in 1987 and has to face the issue of building public housing in the white middle class side of town. Based on a true story about the young mayor Oscar Isaac of Yonkers, New York, who finds himself engulfed in a racially divided maelstrom that threatens the city's future. Number 7, Madam Secretary. With 7.7 .7 on IMDb and 79% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, a political drama which looks into the life of the Secretary of State as she tries to balance work with family. Having left her job as a CIA analyst for ethical reasons, Newly appointed Secretary of State Elizabeth McCord returns to public life at the request of the President, after the suspicious death of her predecessor. Number 6. Boss. With 8.1 on IMDb and 81% on Rotten Tomatoes. As Mayor Tom Kane is the most powerful man in Chicago but when he gets diagnosed with a dementia disorder, he struggles to keep his grip on power. Boss constructs political devolution with ease and packs a powerful punch with steamy tales of corruption and sex. Number 5. Scandal. With 7.7 .7 on IMDb and 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, a former White House communications director starts her own crisis management firm only to realize her clients are not the only ones with secrets. Scandal creates enticingly addictive narratives with surprising twists and fascinatingly damaged characters. Number 4, Veep. With 8.4 on IMDb and 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, Veep is a political satire comedy series which follows former Senator Selena Mayer who finds that being Vice President of the United States is nothing like she hoped, and everything that everyone ever warned her about is true. The jokes are actually funny, thanks to sharp funny rapid-fire dialogue between POTUS and her hilariously incompetent staff. Number 3. Designated Survivor With 7.5 on IMDb and 71% on Rotten Tomatoes, a low-level cabinet member becomes President of the United States after a catastrophic attack, kills the President and wipes out everybody in the line of succession. It is a fast-paced, quickly escapist political action fantasy. Number 2, The Crown. With 8.7 on IMDb and 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, The Crown follows the political rivalries and romance of Queen Elizabeth II's reign and the events that shaped the second half of the 20th century. Powerful performances and lavish cinematography make The Crown a top-notch production that's definitely worth a watch. Number 1, House of Cards. With 8.7 on IMDb and 77% on Rotten Tomatoes, apart from the last season, it's a masterpiece of strong performances, writing, and visuals. Series follows Frank Underwood who is a Democrat appointed as the Secretary of State. Along with his wife he sets out on a quest to seek revenge on the people who betrayed him, while successfully rising to supremacy. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe and do leave a comment, bye!